In the petroleum refining and petrochemical industries, the initialism BTX refers to mixtures of benzene, toluene, and the three xylene isomers, all of which are aromatic hydrocarbons. The xylene isomers are distinguished by the designations ortho or o, meta or m, and para or p, as indicated in the adjacent diagram. If ethyl benzene is included, the mixture is sometimes referred to as BTEX. The BTX aromatics are very important petrochemical materials. Global consumption of benzene, estimated at more than 40 million tons in 2010, showed an unprecedented growth of more than 3 million tons from the level seen in 2009. Likewise, the para xylene consumption showed unprecedented growth in 2010, growing by 2,800,000 tons, a full 10% growth from 2009. Toluene is also a valuable petrochemical for use as a solvent and intermediate in chemical manufacturing processes and as a high octane gasoline component. Topic. Properties of the BTX hydrocarbons The table below lists some of the properties of the BTX aromatic hydrocarbons, all of which are liquids at typical room conditions. Topic. Production of BTX hydrocarbons Benzene, toluene, and xylenes can be made by various processes. However, most BTX production is based on the recovery of aromatics derived from the catalytic reforming of naphtha in a petroleum refinery. Catalytic reforming usually utilizes a feedstock naphtha that contains non aromatic hydrocarbons with 6 to 11 or 12 carbon atoms and typically produces a reformate product containing C6 to C8 aromatics benzene, toluene, xylenes, as well as paraffins and heavier aromatics containing 9 to 11 or 12 carbon atoms. Another process for producing BTX aromatics involves the steam cracking of hydrocarbons which typically produces a cracked naphtha product commonly referred to as pyrolysis gasoline, pyrolysis gas or pygas. The pyrolysis gasoline typically consists of C6 to C8 aromatics, heavier aromatics containing 9 to 11 or 12 carbon atoms, and non-aromatic cyclic hydrocarbons, naphthenes, containing 6 or more carbon atoms. The adjacent table compares the BTX content of pyrolysis gasoline produced at standard cracking severity or at medium cracking severity with the BTX content of catalytic reformate produced by either a continuous catalytic regenerative CC reformer or by a semi-regenerative catalytic reformer. About 70% of the global production of benzene is by extraction from either reformate or pyrolysis gasoline. The BTX aromatics can be extracted from catalytic reformate or from pyrolysis gasoline by many different methods. Most of those methods, but not all, involve the use of a solvent either for liquid-liquid extraction or extractive distillation. Many different solvents are suitable, including sulfalane C4H802S, furfural C5H402, tetraethylene glycol C8H1805, dimethylsulfoxide C2H6OS, and N-methyl 2-pyrrolidone C5H9NO. Below is a schematic flow diagram of one method, involving extractive distillation, for extraction of the BTX aromatics from a catalytic reformate. Topic. Petrochemicals produced from BTX There are a very large number of petrochemicals produced from the BTX aromatics. The following diagram shows the chains leading from the BTX components to some of the petrochemicals that can be produced from those components. Topic. See also Aromaticity Catalysis Pyrolysis Topic. External links J. H. Gary and G. E. Handwork, 1984
Petroleum Refining Technology and Economics, 3rd ed. Marcel Decker, Inc. ISBN 0-8247-9157-6, see Chapter 15 available here. Donald L. Burdick and William L. Leffler. Petrochemicals in Nontechnical Language, 3rd ed. Penwell Publishing. ISBN 0-87814-798-5. Available at Google Books. Benzene Supply Trends and Proposed Method for Enhanced Recovery, David Netzer. Presented to 2005 World Petrochemical Conference, March 2005, Houston, Texas, USA. Aromatics Complex, James A. Johnson, February 12, 2009. Para, Xylene Production. From the website of GTC Technology, Houston, Texas.